everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be talking today about something other than skincare, something other than makeup, cosmetics, the fun, the good stuff, the hair care. Um, just going to be talking about a product here. This is something that I bought about probably about seven or eight months ago. I bought this. Now, uh, what this is is an alternative to jumper cables. So if you have a dead car truck battery, doesn't start, and uh, in the event that you don't carry jumper cables, or if you are like mine, uh, my jumper cables actually got stolen out of the trunk of the car and have no idea where they walked away to. Um, but I, I think it was like when the, when the car was in the repair shop or something, they like stole them, but whatever. So if you don't want to hit somebody up, you know, you have to have another car to do jumper cables. You know, if you don't want to hit somebody up and say, Hey, can you jump me? You know, um, <laughs> and when you use those words, men take that the wrong way. You know what I mean? Um, okay. That was a lame joke, but you know what I mean? Um, uh, this is one of these portable supposed to start your battery. Okay. These portable handheld quickie start devices. I actually heard a lot about this before I bought it. I decided, why not? You know, like I said, it's always easier than hitting somebody up. Even if you do have the jumper cables, you still have to use somebody else's battery, you know. Um, so I thought this was quick, easy, convenient. I could just do it myself like I do everything else myself. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is the uh, brand. This is the model and everything. It's called the Red Fuel and red red fuel fuel <laughs> sinus problems make you talk funny you guys no matter what and yeah um okay so red this is red fuel and this is the model number in case you're interested here i will say i bought this at walmart like i said seven eight months ago for the life of me you guys seven eight months ago i don't remember what i paid for it in any at any rate uh it just did not work for me okay i did get the opportunity to use it i um, had the opportunity about two weeks ago to use it and it did not work so here is my situation i have um, an suv that um, is in my garage or it was when it was dead and i had not driven it, it's a Ford SUV. I had not driven it for about three days, so it hadn't been started in three days. It's just been sitting in my garage, garage kept, pampered, well conditioned, taken care of, all that good fun stuff. Uh, but anyhow, three days out, hadn't drove it, wouldn't start. So I'm not sure if it had been dead for those three days. Who knows? Not sure if that's even going to make a difference. Fact of the matter is, I fired this baby up. I have it charged up to 100%. If I can turn it on to show you. Anyhow, have it charged up to 100% here. I mean, this was simple. It was quick. It was easy to use, you know. Um, connect it up. You're good to go. It was quick, convenient, easy. The thing is, it just did not work for me. And I actually heard a lot about it before I bought it and um, decided, yeah, I'll just go with it, you know. I'm not sure if maybe I should have bought a more expensive brand, a more expensive model. You know, sometimes it's not always about the money. Who knows? The thing is, my SUV inside my garage had not been driven for three days. And uh, basically tried to, I guess you might say, cold start it. You know what I mean? After three days. Uh, for some people, it's a long time to let a car sit. Uh, for some people, it's not. You know what I mean? I know people that have let their car set a year and it will start right up. But anyways, it just didn't work for me. And the thing is, I probably would have filmed it, you know, because it was simple. It was quick. It was easy to connect up. Um, just make sure you you have uh, you you have something to ground it with, you know, connect it to the metal, ground it up, connect it to the battery. It was easy to use. Thing is, the reason why I didn't film it, one, uh, my garage has very poor lighting, and two, the um, high, uh, almost said hyaluronic acid. I'm so used to talking about skin care. It's like shift the modes, you know, uh, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, uh, hydraulics, uh, the, the arms on the hood, okay? When uh, the, the hood, the hinges, the arms, the... I want to say, <laughs> okay, hydraulics, you guys. We're not talking about hyaluronic acid. I keep wanting to say that because I'm so used to talking about skincare and all that other, you know, cosmetically and things like that. But, um, yeah, so, anyways, there's something wrong with the arms on, you know, the hinges of my hood. 
um, the hydraulics, whatever. You know, a uh, long time ago, they said, oh, you just pump it, you know, whatever. That doesn't work. And to replace those arms, it was very expensive. And I just simply decided not to do it. So basically, what I'm saying is why, why I did not film the portion of me connecting this up to my battery is for that. There's poor lighting in my garage. And two, um, I, I had to actually hold my hood up with my arm. And the thing is to... Uh, even get to my battery, I have to get on a, st I'm, I'm not like super short or anything like that, but I have to get on a step ladder. And that's the only way I can just like extend my arm up and hold the hood up, you know, and then I can just prop it up with something, whatever's in my garage, you know, broom, mop, handle, whatever, <laughs> piece of wood, uh, something like that. So I just have to prop my hood up. It doesn't hold itself up anymore. And um, yeah, you know, um, so it would have been more interesting if I had filmed it. Yes, I know, with trying to start my, you know, battery up and get it to turn over. And, uh, but then again, you would have saw it didn't work. So believe you me, it didn't work. And like I said, just to reiterate a small, you know, to, to reiterate the information, I'm not sure if being three days uh, of dead battery, who knows? It might've been dead those three days. Um, the thing is, does this, do you have this model? Do you have this brand? Do you have this device? Did it work for you? Like, did you have a battery, you know, that had just went recently drained out and it just went dead? You know what I mean? And then you use this and it started it right up, you know? Um, I also heard a lot of people say these work like in cold climates, you know, because um, usually that's when you're, Battery has a lot of trouble turning over anyhow, you know, it's either really hot outside or really cold outside. That's not the case where I'm at, you know. I mean, it's cold, yes, but it's garage kept, you know, SUV, so it's not so cold it won't start. But so did you have a dead battery and your battery was completely drained out and then this started your battery up, you know, and it, and it gave you that that one start to be able to, you know, uh, go switch your battery out, whatever. So uh, what I had to do is actually this didn't work. So I just ended up having to pull my battery out myself, which no big thing. I've done that a bazillion times anyhow. Um, I, I just, I wanted to just, uh, you know, start it up and just go right down to the, you know, to the car place and then get the battery and all that, you know, just have them put it in for me because my battery that was in the SUV was not very old. It was just a few months old and it was, uh, Oh, I think it's, I think it's like an AC Delco Platinum. Anyhow, it's the like, you know, it, it's not even the gold. It's the platinum one. It's like the most expensive one. And uh, yeah, I so I was wanting to get it, you know, prorated some or whatever and just have those guys down there switch it out for me because it'd just be quick and easier for me. But uh, instead, I had to go down to the auto parts store and... Um, you know, I had to, well, to take my dead battery down there. First off, I had to do that. I had to take my dead battery down there, get them to prorate it and all that fun stuff, you know, throw money with it, give them money <laughs> and uh, get a new battery and come back and, and put it, you know, down in my, you know, get on my stepladder. And if, I, I, that sounds so funny. It's like, why do you need a stepladder? Well, you know, it is an SUV and um, I'm not short. I'm five foot five. So, you know, anyhow, um, but like I said, I have all that issue with my with my hood and the the arms on it and the hinges and the all that. Uh, so um, and I had you know I have put so much money into the 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 SUV as I want to say car SUV as is. But um, yeah. Um, now the thing is, I um, the reason I bought this was funny story. You know, if you're still hanging on this video and you're still even listening to me. Yay, big thumbs up, you know what I mean? But um, the reason I bought this is I had uh, a few months ago, probably about seven, eight months ago exactly, right before I bought this, I had uh, tried to, I had got gas at the gas station and was still at the pump and um, I went in to pay for the gas, paid cash, come out, went to start the same car up, SUV, I, I call it car, SUV, whatever, went to start it up and, um, you know, got the dreaded clicking noise and like, okay, dead battery. Um, and the funny thing is every time I hear that, you know, I'm like, okay, I want to think of something quick, easy, a simple solution to repair things. And I think, okay, I'm just going to have to bust out my baking soda and my toothbrush, clean up a little corrosion, you know, but it's always beyond corrosion, you know, it's dead battery. Um, but anyhow, so I was at the gas pump and you hear the dreaded clicking sound. It was really crowded. It was a Saturday. 
the gas station was packed. I mean, it's, it's like, it was packed. And so apparently a lot of other people heard the clicking noise and, you know, we all know what that sound is, dreaded battery. And nobody likes to hear that sound. It's like, it's like the death rattle, you know, you're like, oh gosh. But, um, so about 10 other guys actually heard that noise and they ran over and, um, it's a good way to get men's attention. But <laughs> anyways, I'm not sure if that's always a good thing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is not. But um, they were really great, though. So there were some really nice guys. I so happened to be hanging out at the gas station that day on Saturday. And um, one of the guys even had one of these. And, uh, you know, I don't think it was like the same model or anything like that. But he had the handheld thing. So I was like, okay. But the funny thing is, he couldn't start my battery then with it either. That didn't work, okay? So, um, and then somebody else, uh, their jumper cables were, were missing and all that. And like I said, I used to carry jumper cables, and it's a great thing to do, and I'm going to continue to start to do it again. But they, they like, magically got stolen out of the back of my, my car, and um, I think that's when my car was in the shop last time. But, um, yeah. So anyhow, I finally got a jump start at that time and, and it was I was all good to go. But I did kind of panic that time because I had my Doberman with me and and I didn't panic because of myself, you know. I mean that's one thing. Okay, I could take care of myself, but I kinda of panicked because I, I didn't I was like, what was I gonna do with him? I have ninety five pounds of Doberman Pincher love in my, you know, in my car here with me and I've got about 10 strangers that are under the hood of my, you know, SUV under my, you know, hood and they're trying to, you know, get it all started up and, you know, actually trying to be helpful and my dog, you know, 95 pounds of love and he's just being a, a huge guard dog and he wants to guard and protect me, which I absolutely love. And, uh, but it made me kind of nervous, you know, cause I'm like, okay, well, I'm too far from the house. I can't just load up the leash and walk him home, you know, cause I'm not gonna walk him all those miles and uh, ruin the pads on his feet or, you know, get glass in his feet or him get hurt in some way. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I could have walked that far, yeah, but I, I didn't want him to have to do it. And then I didn't have um, a water bowl with me and I can never get him to drink out of like, like just a regular bottle of water. You know, he won't do, some dogs do that, he won't. I have to have an actual dog dish, a doggy bowl. And I didn't have one of those with me. And I was like, okay, I was afraid of him running out of water and wearing himself out and tiring himself out, exhausted himself, barking so much. And then I was about four miles from my house and I was like, ah, I can't walk him that far. But, um, Anyhow, luckily, um, one of those nice guys was able to um, hook me up to his truck and uh, jump start, and, um, I, you know, I was off on my way. And that's what provoked me to buy this. But, yeah, you know, I don't know. Let me know. Do you have this? Do these work for you? That's a model number. That's what it's called, you guys. So, yeah, that's my story. But um, other than that, you know, I mean... Working on cars, I used to love to work on cars um, a lot. And I actually used to work on Hondas. And I used to um, replace condenser va condenser fans and just do a lot of work in general, you know, um, outside of the realm of, you know, typical oil change and, you know, um, air filters and just things like that, just basic maintenance. Um, I used to do that. So um, they really loved me because they said that, um, hey, you've got the job because you got small hands. So um, having small hands and being able to manipulate, you know, ratchets and tools and things like that, um, crescent wrenches, whatever, Phillips screwdriver, flathead, you know, whatever. So they say, oh, yeah, small hands are always advantage, you know, and uh, drain plugs and um, oil filters and whatever, you know what I mean? So, oh, that's an advantage. So, um, yeah, especially with the condenser fans on Hondas, you know. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so I bet some of you guys probably didn't even know that. I mean, uh, you know, you just think I'm, I'm all about um, the hair care and, and skin care and, uh, <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. But, um, yeah, we all have more uh, facets to us than what people just see 
on the surface aesthetics, you know what I mean? And like get past the aesthetics of things and you get to know people better. Okay, much love. Take care, guys. Bye. Thumbs up.